So we're here today to talk about your infertility issues. Um, it's about our third meeting, so what would you define as a problem, Mrs. Smith? Well, like you said, um, we're having those issues, and but it is causing a lot of stress on our marriage. Like we're newlyweds, so it takes a lot out of us, and I don't know. It just just makes us kind of argue a lot more than what we did before, and so the stress of it is causing you know the settlement in your family. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mr. Smith, um, what would you define as the issues? Is there anything different you would like to add? Pretty much just the same problem, really. All right. Don't know where to go with it. All right. Um, so with infertility issues, have you haven't seen a doctor yet? No. Um, I mentioned that that we should, but there's disagreement on it, okay. which causes more stress. You don't mind me asking what exactly is the reason that you wouldn't want to go? It's just more, more of a personal something you really want to take care of by yourselves. So, it's is it more of an embarrassment factor, so to speak? Yeah, um, and the awkwardness. And some people would rather solve the problems without the help of other people. But, um, okay, so when did these issues start? Or when did you notice them? Um, well, we've been married for about eight months, and ever since, like, about halfway in, we started trying to have one and like have a kid and it's, you know, it's been a few months now and we're still on us, you know, pregnant, so. Okay. Um, have you considered other options for children? Um, we talked about adoption, perhaps if we couldn't ever get pregnant, but uh, there's disagreement with that as well. And they ask what the disagreement is with that. It just, I just think, personally, I think it'd be better just to have like your own child, you know, instead of bringing someone else's into into your home and stuff. I just That's understandable. You know, you want your heir, so to speak. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little different when they're not your birth child because you don't have that connection with them. Exactly. Um. What would you think would be the best solution for your problem, Mrs. Smith, first? Well, I think if we're not going to, going to adopt, because I don't think we're ever going to agree on that, then we at least need to go see a doctor and just see what's going on. And what would you say would be the best solution for that? I could, I could probably break down and go to the doctor other than adoption. I think that would be a better solution. That's a start. Um, because you need to know what the issue is before you start making solutions, basically. Um, so, the adoption issue is something you wouldn't be willing to consider if you weren't able to conceive on your own? Maybe, Maybe. but I'd like to know exactly for sure, you know. That's fair enough. Um, you want to make sure all your options are covered before you, um, solve the problem, <laughs> attempt to solve it. Um, let's talk about the stress that this is causing in your family. Um, on a scale from one to ten, how would you say that it has affected your everyday life, Mrs. Smith? Um, probably about a seven. Okay. And what would you say, Mr. Smith? I was thinking probably like a five or a six. Okay. So we're almost on the same page there. Um, not talking about the solution to the infertility issues, what would do you think would help solve the conflict that you're having in the house? Is there, do you think there's anything you could do? Um, I think probably just like talk more and more in depth than we have been. Okay. Better communication. Communication is a big skill. Um, if you don't mind me asking, is there any other stressors that could be involved besides the infertility issues? Well, he works second shift, long hours, and it just, I never get to see him, it seems like, so that causes a big stress on me. And do you work? Yes, but it's only part-time. Part um, and excuse me for asking, second shift is about what? 
Um, from two to ten thirty, twelve or so. Yeah, overtime sometimes, but then he's even gone longer. Okay. Um. So, do you have like conflicting schedules, so to speak? Mm -hmm. So, by the time he gets home, are you already wound down for the evening? Mm -hmm. That's fair enough. Um. What about the mornings? What do you, your mornings look like? Uh, sometimes we get to see each other for a while, and then sometimes it's only for like two hours. Depends on what time I go into work. How what? How late I was out tonight this morning. Okay. Um. Do you work seven days a week? I work five or six. Okay. Varies. And so you have at least one off day a week. Mm -hmm. Um. Do your days override with his off days for you? Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. So we got that issue on top of the fertility issues. Um, what do you think would be a solution for your arguments and even the time not being able to spend together? Is there anything you can see that would help solve your problem? Um, maybe I could pick up a full-time job so he can maybe go to another kind of job so he don't have to work as many hours and then we'll have, still have enough income coming in and have more time to see each other. Maybe. That might work. How would you feel about your wife going full time? I mean, that's whatever she wants to do, you know. I'm not going to try to control her or nothing. But if that was something she would want to do, it's fine. Either. Right. Um, so it seems like, even though the fertility may seem like it's a main issue, it's not. There's other issues that can suggest as well. Lots of um, <laughs> There's um, a lot of issues that come with being it's hard to adapt. Um, so that would be something you'd both be willing to do, maybe, that you think would help? Yeah. All right. Just a second. Okay. Um, are there any other factors besides the busy schedules and the infertility issues, or are those the main reasons? Um, from my perspective, that's the only thing. Would, do you consider are there any other issues? That, I really think that's about all. Just not enough time together and then, mm -hmm. yeah, and then not the stress of it all. All right. Um, how has the time you've been able to spend together changed since you got married? Has it? Um, well, at first it hadn't really changed any, but then once we started having trouble conceiving, it just made it more stressful and we argued more during the time that we did see each other and then, you know, we went see each other for long hours and so. So the um, issue with fertility brought to light other issues that just kind of annoyed you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's good to know. <laughs> um, you said that the infertility is something you just noticed recently because you started trying to Right. Okay. Um, back to that issue. Um, how long did you say this was going on? For a few months. A few months. Um, and you all said a doctor or something you would be willing to cover. Um, let's look again at some of the issues if you it does come back that one of you aren't able to conceive. How would you feel about maybe a donor if that was an issue. Mainly, Mr. Smith. Honestly, I'd rather have, I'd rather do adoption than okay. I would a donor. Okay, that's fair enough because you would want right. <laughs> um, what about a surrogate if that's an issue for you, Mr. Smith? Um, no, I'd rather carry uh, you know carry my own child. Um, that's interesting. I'm in mothers with that experience, mm -hmm. which is the reason they um, don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. So adoption seems like it would be the best issue. Um, do you think financially you would be able to do that? Maybe in you know in a year yeah. or so. It takes time. Yeah, because there's a list, a long waiting list mm -hmm. before even before that. Um, have you considered possible outlets for dealing with your emotions over the issues? Because it is a heavy issue that both of, both of you are obviously having. I think we both try to keep kind of busy with hobbies and stuff too. Right. 
And what do you do to keep your, what do you personally do to keep your? I play guitar. Play guitar? Music's the big part of your life. And you? I read. Read. Mm -hmm. Reading's a good outlet. Um, do you think maybe just, you said communication would be, help, maybe just taking that time to talk about how y'all's days went and do you think that would help? That's a good thing because communication is key as we said. Um, so it looks like we're making improvement, so to speak. Um, I would still like to meet with you all again because we're just beginning to get into the issue, um, maybe say another week or so at the same time. Um, would that work for you? Your schedules? Mm -hmm. Um, at this, in the meantime, I would recommend trying to make an appointment if you're, that's, you said that's something you were willing to do. Because like I said, we agree that you can't solve the issue before you know what the issue is. Mm -hmm. So, um, in the meantime, try to make an appointment. I know you might, might not be able to get in between now and then. So that would be a good idea. And we'll see you next week, okay? Okay. okay. Thank you all for coming. Thank, Thank you. you.